Hi, I think global warming is going to destroy the planet. Oh no. Why? All the scientists say so. What about all the scientists who disagree? Oh. Those don't count. Why not? Because they disagree with me. Yes, but any other reason? They're not authentic climate scientists. How do you become one of those? You have to believe in global warming and dedicate your career to fighting it. How do you know those environmental scientists are right? They are experts. At predicting the end of the world? Yes. They have predicted environmental doomsday many different times. Have they ever been right? It's different this time. Science is much more advanced. Isn't that always true? Isn't science always more advanced than it was before? Yes, but now it's so advanced they can't be wrong anymore. How do you know? You need to have faith. I thought the whole point of science is that you don't need faith. Well, this is both science and politics. I think my faith decreased a little more. They have computer models to predict future temperatures. Do they work? Not yet, but they can predict the past. Is that useful to anyone? It must be, because they keep getting money to fund the stuff. Haven't they gotten in trouble for deceptive, unscientific practices? Those scandals don't matter. Why not? Other liberals investigated them and said things were okay. The deception was only minor. Then why was it necessary? When you're trying to save the planet, every lie helps. Besides, they needed to punish the scientists who deny global warming. Hasn't scientific progress always been achieved by skeptics challenging the consensus? That was in the old days. Now progress is achieved by scientists falling in line and keeping their doubts to themselves. Why? Otherwise they are like Holocaust deniers. In what way is that remotely similar? Because people who disagree about global warming are bad. How do you know? Al Gore said so. Is he an authentic climate scientist? Even better, he's a politician. Oh. He also got a Nobel Prize. For science? No, for making a movie. Oh. What was it about? Himself. And global warming. Was the science in the movie accurate? It must have been. They don't give out Nobel Prizes for nothing. Normally. If you don't believe Al Gore, at least believe what's going on around you. Like what? Heat waves. Hurricanes. These are signs that the end is near. What about blizzards and cold spells? Those are just isolated weather events, and they have nothing to do with the climate. So when it's unusually warm, that proves global warming, but when it's unusually cold, that means nothing? Yes. What about when the weather is normal? Inconclusive. So how would you disprove global warming? You can't. That's how you know it's true. That doesn't sound like the scientific method. I mentioned before that there's politics too. Yes, it does sound a lot more like the political method. I find your lack of faith disturbing. What can we do about global warming? Lower carbon emissions. Who should do that? Everyone. Even growing economies like India and China? I heard they're on board with this. Does that mean they'll stop building millions of new cars and factories? No. How are they helping then? Well, we'll start with America. Won't that devastate the economy? Yes, but it will be worth it. Will it stop global warming? No. Then how is it worth it? Just think of the moral superiority we would gain. Maybe you need it more than I do. Also, being green is very trendy right now. Is there anything else we can do? Yes. We can give billions of dollars to green energy research. And that will enable us to replace gasoline with sunbeams? Nothing lost in trying. Except the billions of dollars. That's taxpayer money. If we don't take it from them, people will just waste it on their own families, instead of it being put to good use by liberals. Is there anything else we can do? Yes. We can send billions of dollars to third world countries. For what? Reparations for the damage caused by our global warming. How does giving third world dictators more money for palaces and AK-47s stop global warming? It won't. But again, think of the moral superiority. It costs a lot to buy morality these days. How do you know third world countries are being harmed by global warming? When they have weather related problems. But I thought you said isolated weather incidents had nothing to do with climate change. They do if it's hot. Well at least we don't have to pay them if they get blizzards. Actually I just realized it's not just global warming, it's global climate change. 
So blizzards do count as proof of the theory. At least we don't have to pay reparations if the weather stays the same. We are still working on that. I think I'm becoming a climate change denier. I'm very disappointed in you. Deniers are the bad guys. How do you know? Because... Other than because they disagree with you. Because the deniers are funded by evil energy companies. Climate change believers are only trying to save the planet. There's no money in it. Besides the research grants? Right. What about the billions for green energy companies? Besides that. Or the reparations to third world countries? Besides that. Or the billions to be made in trading carbon credits under a cap and trade system? What? The good guys can't wet their beaks a little. It's funny how often being a good guy involves taking other people's money. The debate about climate change is over. Al Gore said so. Who won the debate? Al Gore says he did. How can the debate be over when skepticism about global warming is growing, not shrinking? That's why the debate needs to end. It's gotten completely out of hand. Too bad it's over. At least global warming debates don't involve accusations of racism. We are still working on that one too. I had a feeling you might. You're going to look really stupid when the world ends.